The Rough Guide to Apache NetBeans 10. On the Apache NetBeans blog, or on Twitter, or on Facebook, or elsewhere, you have heard that Apache NetBeans 10 has been released. Apache NetBeans Incubating 10 constitutes all but the enterprise cluster in the Apache NetBeans Git repo, which together provides the NetBeans platform, that is the underlying application framework, as well as the modules that provide Java SE, PHP, JavaScript, and Groovy features of Apache NetBeans. In short, Apache NetBeans Incubating 10.0 is a full IDE for Java SE, PHP, and JavaScript development with some Groovy language support. It's been a long process, and here is the process we have gone through. We have a roadmap, and we released Apache NetBeans 9 in August this year. And for Apache NetBeans 10, we were aiming at a November release, but there were a number of complications at the end, by means of which it took a little bit longer than expected. And we have delivered on the items that we were working on. In particular, we were focused on support for JDK 11 and for the reintegration of the PHP features into Apache NetBeans. The reason for this need for reintegration is that we can't simply release everything that Oracle donates to Apache. We need to go through a process in Apache to make sure that everything that Oracle donates can actually be released by Apache. Also importantly, Apache only releases source code. It does not release binaries. So the focus has been on cleaning up the source code in terms of its licensing and so on. In the Apache NetBeans 9 release, we focused on the platform cluster and we focused on the IDE cluster and the Java cluster. And in this release, we were focusing on cleaning up the PHP cluster. So going through it and making sure everything is licensed correctly and everything can be released under Apache. What we want to do for the next release, so we have um, a plan to commit ourselves to two releases in the coming year. Um, in the first, in March, to be in sync with the JDK 12 release. Um, in that release, we also want to reintegrate the Jakarta EE or Java EE parts of Apache NetBeans GitHub into the Apache NetBeans release. And in September, together with the JDK 13, release, we want to also reintegrate the C, C++ parts of NetBeans, which are in process of being donated. So we have an Apache transition page at the bottom of which you can see the whole process from the Oracle side in terms of which of the different parts of NetBeans in Oracle is being audited at a particular time. So you can see that right now we're involved with the fourth code donation, which is focused on C++ and Java card and mobility and these clusters of code coming out of Oracle NetBeans. And you can see how far we are. We've actually done most of the donation. After this, we expect a fifth donation. So after that fourth donation, we expect a fifth donation. And probably there'll be some um, bits and pieces after that um, that we may have forgotten or we might discover later we should have done, etc. Um, but we are clearly nearing the end of the donation process. The donation process is taking quite some time because NetBeans itself is quite large. And you can see that relative to the other projects in Apache, it is in fact by far the largest project, meaning that it is by far the most complicated project to actually migrate from where it came from, i.e. Oracle and before that Sun, to Apache. It is simply very large and takes a lot of work. Probably the most interesting part um, under the hood of the Apache NetBeans 10 release is the fact that we've reorganized the GitHub repository so that it is more manageable. Normally, in a Apache project, you would have a long list of top-level folders. And what we have done during the Apache NetBeans 10 release cycle is reorganize that very long list of top-level folders into subfolders. And these are not random subfolders. These are subfolders that match what you see in your installation directory in NetBeans. Here's my installation directory of NetBeans, and you'll see folders like Groovy, IDE, Java, JavaFX, PHP, Platform Profiler. And when you look in the GitHub repository, you will see that there's a one-to-one -one match with those different folders. So PHP, Platform Profiler, Web common, web service common, these you also see in your installation directory. So we are trying to make our GitHub repository manageable. 
we don't want to have thousands of top level folders which we were dangerously close to getting to because if you just look at the Java cluster uh, look at that very long list of modules so we wanted to make it manageable we want to be able to get people to contribute more easily which is complex enough as it is given how large the code base is on to the functionality of Apache NetBeans 10 itself. If you're on netbeansapache.org and you click on the download link, you will find yourself on the download page. And here you can download a zip file containing the binaries. So once you have that zip file, simply unzip it. And you will see what I see here. You will have a long list of folders, or not that long really. And inside of the bin folder, you will see the executables. And you will see these are the Windows executables. And this is for Linux systems, including Mac OS X. You can start up NetBeans from here, from the command prompt. If all of that seems very complicated and not something that you want to do, that's also fine. There is already one distribution of NetBeans outside of Apache NetBeans, and that is CoolBeans and it includes an installer. What is actually in Apache NetBeans in terms of features? Well, click on the features link and you'll get a basic overview of what is in there. So as mentioned, we really focused on JDK 11 and we focused on PHP in particular, but a number of other features have been included. There is JUnit 5 support, with thanks to uh, John McDonnell, um, focused in particular on Maven. The PHP integration, plus a number of new features, uh, support for 7.3, 7.2, 7.1. This is all new. That is thanks to Unichi and Thomas Misik. Um, the JavaScript integration is really there because there was a dependency in the PHP support on JavaScript, so we had to include JavaScript as well. And thanks to Sven Reimers, there is also integration for Groovy. So the Groovy cluster has been included too. So that, in summary, is what you will find in Apache NetBeans 10. When you start it up, it looks like this, nice and clean as always. We will create a new project. When you create your first uh, Java project or your first PHP project, you will need to enable the related functionality. You can see here this feature is not yet enabled, and for Java, this feature is not yet enabled. When you use JavaFX, you're going to encounter problems if you're not running NetBeans on top of JDK 8. If you go to openjfx.io, the website related to Gluon, you'll find instructions for using JDK 11 with OpenJFX, including NetBeans. So, for example, when you create our first Java application, you're going to be prompted to download the NB Java C, so the NetBeans Java compiler, a fork of the Java compiler created by Oracle, by the NetBeans team in Oracle, to provide additional support for Java, focused specifically on the Java editor in NetBeans. Once the process is complete, you can name your project, you can complete the wizard, and you will have your first Java application. You'll also see that you have a range of new toolbar buttons and menu items and so on that relate to using Java. Similarly, when you create your first PHP project, you'll be prompted to download and activate the related functionality. And just like creating your first Java application, creating your first PHP application doesn't take much work either. As always, you have a very clean user interface with NetBeans, and you have all the functionality that you're familiar with, in particular with support for Java and PHP, as well for HTML5 and JavaScript, with a rich library of samples that you can explore and learn from. Bear in mind that nothing in life is free, and even though you haven't paid any money for using NetBeans, other people have at least paid their time in terms of working on it. So we really need people to be involved in the project. Go to netbeansapache.org and click on the community tab here and you will find in different ways of getting involved, also in participation, about contributing code, about reporting issues, joining the Netcat program to, to test out the new features before release, to work on documentation. There are multiple different ways in which you can get involved and make the project even better. We need people to contribute their time in order to make NetBeans even better and to provide the features that we need. Everything is now on GitHub, so it's simply a question of doing a clone, or just fork the GitHub repository, um, check it out, add your features, fix, fix the problems that you've had, and then do a pull request. And you can see there's a number of pull requests. You can at least at the very least, um, go through the pull requests and give your comments and feedback on them. 
You can see that there's a long list of contributors. You can see exactly what people have contributed and how much relative to other people. We need more and more people to be involved and to take NetBeans as their starting point to add missing features. And also, it's very useful to be aware that you are unlikely to want to contribute something in terms of code that isn't similar to, some, to something that is already there. So for example, if you're using a programming language for which there's no support in NetBeans, there are multiple other programming languages which are supported, and your language is likely to need to be integrated in a similar way. So take a look at NetBeans source code, find similar functionality to what you would like to provide, and we look forward to seeing your pull requests. At the very least, if you're using NetBeans, we expect you to stay informed. Don't ask questions on Twitter about what's the current status of NetBeans. Instead, join the mailing lists, participate in the roadmap, contribute to discussions, and in that way, you'll be kept informed of progress. And we look forward to seeing your contributions and your interaction with the community on the mailing lists and in the GitHub repository. Thanks and have fun with Apache NetBeans 10.